Nene Bug. What are we doing today? We're going to be working on the shelter for the portable milking area. Cool. This is Kip with Thousands of Roots, and this is a how to video on a shelter that you can build on the cheap. This is part two on the shelter we're going to be, that we are working on, that we're putting up. What we need to do today is move four of these over there, four of these cattle panels over there, set them up so they can go up and over. We'll show you all that. We just finished. Now our dad's gonna show you close up. Looks like you're hard at work, Nathan. <laughs> Did we just finish? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Joshy? Looks good. Okay, let's look. All right, guys, here is the first one that we finished. Super simple. Uh, these cattle panels cost $20 a piece, so we're talking a total of, for both of these full-on structures here, uh, these are about 8 feet wide and 8 feet long, a little more than 8 feet wide. This one is quite a bit more than 8 feet wide, it's eight and about 9 feet wide and 8 feet long. So 6 cattle panels, so 6 times 20, you know, 20 bucks a piece. <laughs> And that includes making these three gates with the cattle panels, cut down to size. The pallets were free. One box of fencing staples, which we still have more of those left, which made the hinges. And it's holding all these in place. Take you inside. Here's how we did it on the inside here. This one, this one was just a, a, a thought right at the first, just to hold the vinyl in place, just to hold this vinyl. Um, obviously, these are going to hold the vinyl in place. Another one here. And what we did, obviously, we tried to staple it in. See right there? This is one of the <clears throat> two by fours. We tried to find those spots. It's like right here. Boom, staple. Okay. And a staple. Another one there. And at the ends we did two. Oh, on, on the ends always for extra. Because this is where it's going to get the most. This is where the wind is going to... It's going to, what's it called, worry it the most. And similar construction here. We had to put this 2x4 as the, for the latch. So that's why it's sticking out goofy right here. But, again... Two staples at the end, and then <clears throat> right on through. It's tall enough for me to stand in it. So, I am, I'm about 5'8", <clears throat> so it's probably, what, 5'10", five, 5'10", ten? Five ten inches in height on this one. This is just the cap area, so. We're not going to have a whole lot of reasons for being in here except for we're going to put wood chips in here and all kinds of mulch and stuff. So then once the calves do their business in here a bunch and the mulch is nice and thick, we will come and gather it and use it for our gardens. So that's a really good way to utilize an area like this. And it'll be really, really, really good for the garden. 
This one is the actual milking area. Now what we did is this one, we lifted it up a little bit. So we started it, you know, what, six inches up. Um, because it's wider. So we lifted it up a little bit. So, so again, a person can get in here and stand up to come in here to milk. Did it very similar. All the staples along the bottom. This time we overlapped it to even make the vinyl more secure so that the wind can't worry on it as much. And we made it tight. We, we tried to make it really tight. So and as you can see, these things are pretty sturdy. I mean, they have to be some serious, serious wind to take this thing out. Okay guys, this is Kip here at Thousands of Roots. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And newly added to our channel is go down to information and hit more information. And then look for the Amazon link please and click through any one of those links when you're going to buy something on Amazon. Now you don't have to buy the items that those links take you to. You can buy any item at all and we will get a little bit of commissions on whatever you purchase if you click through our link. Again, you don't have to purchase the items that those links take you to. You can purchase anything at all and that will help us a little bit. Thank you so much. Again, we appreciate you and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.